Welcome everyone. Um, I'm Marcy Newman, known as the Heart Shift Coach, and I feel very privileged to be here today with Zarina Dimitrova. Zarina um, and I actually became acquainted with each other um, maybe a couple of years ago through a mutual friend. And I have become quite accustomed to the work that she's doing in the world. And one of the things we're going to talk about today is how she has created a vision for a business that she is dedicating herself to sharing with you. But first, Zareen, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you, Marcy, for taking the time and putting your heart in, in this topic and to interviewing me and letting and giving you a chance to also express my vision behind the organization of this summit. I just think it's so amazing. And the one thing I'd like you to do um, is to tell the audience about your present business. It's called Grow and Learn. And I know your website is growandlearn.org. But tell me what is the what is the the basis of that business? What, what are the core beliefs that you are sharing through your business? Sure, Marcy. Well, uh, let me first tell you that I'm currently running two uh, platforms. One of them is healandlearn.com and the other one is growandlearn.org. So healandlearn.com has been operational for a bit longer and it's um, focused on providing uh, courses and consultations with experts on mental, spiritual and life well-being. So these are all individual clients. We have uh, consultants that provide expertise on uh, spirituality, on uh, personal development, on love relationships, and so on. The things that concern the individual outside of the workplace. But then again, I'm thinking people spend at least eight hours of their day in a workplace environment. You know, that's more of their wake, uh, the most of their waking hours. Mm -hmm. more than they spend with their children, more than they spend with their love relationship. It's the time they spend at work. So it's really important that this environment is also um, not only beneficial, it's bringing them joy, it's bringing them forward, rather than what we are seeing now and experiencing now bringing them backwards. Uh, I will tell you also why I uh, thought about the new game of leadership, but it's also the reason why I started growandlearn.org. They're very connected. You know, the, the summit is a consequence of me starting this company, growandlearn.org, and it is dedicated to returning human-centered business or creating human-centered business rather than what we're seeing now, finance-centered business, AI-centered business, innovation-centered business based on technology, not based on the creativity of the humans. This is stripping off people of their innate skills to relate, innate skills to create for a purpose, for a meaning. If you tell somebody, um, our, our purpose as a company is now to, uh, to bring EBITDA or the, the revenue margin up by 5%, what kind of drive is this for you? Is optimizing uh, shareholder revenue a drive to people? No, it's not. What drives people is the improvement of society, the improvement of, uh, of human life, the relationships that they have at work. So these are things that are missing in business right now. And this is exactly what is causing burnout in workplaces. Oh, excuse me, my speaker just fell. But burnout is a, is a significant problem all over the world. I just looked at statistic in the UK. In the UK, 22% of people in 2020 have been uh, diagnosed with burnout. This is one fifth of the workplace. This is huge. Uh, I remember looking at statistics uh, last year and year before, and they showed uh, they have been constantly growing, like exponentially growing. Of course, this year it's uh, it's topped up by the whole COVID uh, story and the fact that people have to work remotely and have even less uh, human interaction. So uh, my drive to provide, first of all, growandlearn.org was to bring experts and coaches to organizations that can 
teach people personal development, but not personal development simply for the tick off of, yes, we have done another HR program this year and we have ticked it off. And yes, we have worked on our employee survey results, but I actually want to improve the way people feel, the way people understand and see themselves. And I have, I'm working together with, uh, at the moment, eight experts on Grow and Learn that all um, take a different approach to personal development, to coaching people, to transforming organizations, to aligning strategy, to um, um, aligning strategy to purpose, to aligning strategy to, um, to, to the well-being of people, because this is what is missing. You have some HR pro programs that tackle okay, now we have to tackle diversity. We have to tackle women in business. We have to tackle um, issues like uh, burnout. We have to tackle all sorts of problems that are put in the box HR related. And then separately, we have the finance and the strategy guys that tackle you know, the, the financials of the company, of where the company is moving. And these two are detached. So... <laughs> I, I have to say, I mean, just listening to you, and, and I know that you have an incredible event coming up, which we're going to talk about in a moment, but what it all sort of um, encircles for me is this vision that you have for almost redefining success. I'm hearing you say that what is contributing to so much of the dis-ease in our society is that businesses incongruent with who we are as people. And part of that is, as you said, right? So many of the different aspects of business um, are falling under the categories of needing to be compliant, compliant in certain categories. So you have, like you said, these boxes that need to be ticked off. But what part of all of that is really all about bring, bringing heart-centered business forward. Um, business that actually gives people the opportunity and prepares them to live more in a heart-centered world, but also giving them the opportunity for true fulfillment. Fulfillment is only going to come when they are expressing their creativity, their passion, their, um, their opportunities that come from fresh and new ideas. And that's what I love so much about what you're doing. You're creating these incredible platforms for these new, fresh, cutting edge ideas to come forward and making it so easy for people to incorporate these into their everyday lives. And of course, then into their businesses, into their workplace, as well as how they begin to relate to each other. And so much of what you've said, I can't help but think that, you know, this development of the relationship of the self is really coming to the forefront and is making such a mark in everything that you're doing. So I, I definitely want to thank you for that because it's an incredible opportunity for us all. Yeah, thank you, Marcy. Yeah, if we think about it, um, the relationship of the self, let's, I'd like to now draw the line of my logical thinking, and I'm sure that everybody who's uh, listening will be able to follow where does this lead us? And how does it bring us to better results and to more success? So the more you understand yourself, your motivation, what really drives you, your purpose, you're able to then, ideally, link this to the company purse, uh, purpose. If you're a leader, you'd be able to design such a purpose in order to motivate the people. Because as I said, numbers don't motivate people. A vision, a purpose, a clearly articulated goal motivates them. And not necessarily uh, what they're giving to the customer, which is how strategy is done at the moment. And I know because I've worked in strategy for quite a few years and I know how strategy purpose is designed. It is, it is designed on top of financials. First, you design a balanced scorecard, uh, uh, balanced scorecard starting from financials, and that's the wrong approach. So the right approach, what I believe is the right approach, is um, 
a holistic approach where you take into account not only the company's purpose, but how we contribute to the customer, to the greater good, but also how do we contribute to everybody in the company? This is what is missing at the moment. How do we contribute to the lives of everybody in the company? Because imagine these people have their lives, they have their relationships, they have their children. There's impact onto the society by us not doing business right, by us not, um, not training leaders properly. Burnout, by the way, is not caused by people being overworked. It's caused by bad relationships with the leader. It's caused by untrained leaders. So I'd like everybody who is in a leadership position right now to honestly, for themselves, um, assess and look at their teams, whether they're doing the right thing for their teams and how are these people going back to their families in the evening? Great question. And I can see that um, creating this new culture, right, where number one, we are redefining success, but number two, understanding that ultimately the business will grow, the prosperity, the abundance of that business will grow if that culture is cultivated where the growth of each individual is of course being put in the forefront. So I love this whole concept and I love the whole direction that you're going into. And I wondered, um, tell me something about this event that you have coming on. So the event, by the way, for everyone is the new game of leadership. And as you can see, um, this is not something that's just sort of fly by night for Zarina. Her passion, her heart is really into this. And, and I think that she understands exactly why this is so essential at this time. In fact, I think for you, our audience, all you need to do is look at the world and see how essential it is that this, this new direction for leadership takes place. So this event that you're doing, I understand, Zarina, this is um, an online summit, is that correct? It is an online summit that takes uh, about two weeks, depending on the final number of participants. It may go, it may extend a bit further, but so far we have uh, about 14 confirmed participants. These are uh, top experts in their fields. And um, we're gonna be having a live interactive event every day with a different uh, uh, speaker. So just as an example, let me give you a few names uh, that you may know or may be interesting to you um, or, or some examples of what topics they cover. So we are gonna be having you, Marcy. Let's begin with you because you're here right now. Thank you're you. a hardship coach. <laughs> so excited to be here, really. <laughs> That's awesome. We're gonna be talking about your program very soon. Uh, and next to this, we have uh, Mike Amato. He is uh, uh, previously uh, uh, an executive director of Barclays in London. And he took the transformation of the company. He turned it around completely in one year, cultural transformation, where he focused on the people. So we have very interesting stories going on there um, from Mike. Uh, so this is just one example of a, a real life example of how you can achieve better financial results by not focusing on the results, but on the people. Fantastic. Yes, across all financials. And he's a, a proof of that. Um, so we have people that, uh, that train uh, emotional intelligence who leaders, um, strategic alignment. Uh, there are people who train uh, decision-making. Uh, they're going to be talking about decision-making, not only based on financials, but decision-making as a process in general. Um, there are people who are going to be talking about um, um, psychology transference. This is, this is a term that is used in psychotherapy where people transfer their relationships, childhood relationships onto the workplace. We're going to be talking about um, branding, about communicating correctly. Um, emotional intelligence, I already mentioned. I'm going to be talking about business with meaning. This, is, this encompasses um, a concept that includes strategic alignment, that includes workplace relationships, that includes 
self-confidence and influence as well. Uh, and of course, aligning personal purpose to the company purpose. So first discovering the company purpose, articulating it and connecting company pers purpose to uh, personal purpose. So I don't know all the speakers by heart at the moment, but I can tell you it's a stellar configuration of, of speakers and topics uh, that all relate and revolve around human-centered leadership. Because if you're a leader right now and you want to keep your employees, 10 years from now, at least half of them will be gone. They'll be replaced by AI. What will keep your employees and you there is only human-centered creativity. Anything else that is training based on uh, uh, technical expertise, anything that has to do with technical expertise is going to be replaced by AI. And this is a fact. So if you want to be successful and move forward, you need to retrain and, and focus on your human abilities, be more self-aware. So personal development is no longer something that is a woohoo esoteric stuff that people used to throw in the, in the bin. Right. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it is just going to be this incredible um, opportunity to get a well-rounded view of all of the possibilities for each and every one of us to incorporate different perspectives and take real initiative in our businesses to create something brand new. <coughs> Excuse me, and 2021, it's certainly a year for the brand new, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> we had a setback this year, so hopefully we're moving forward next year. That's right. So what are the dates of your online event? 17th of February to the 3rd of March so far. As I said, it, it may be extended a little bit. Um, you can already sign up on growandlearn.org. Um, okay. The profiles of all the speakers will be loaded um, you know, in the coming one or two weeks, but you can sign up at the moment already. And um, is there a cost for admission to this summit, this conference? Um, all the, you can attend all the webinars for free. There'll be live webinars and interactive. So you're gonna, you're gonna be able to ask your questions. Uh, and most of them will be like trainings, not simply a speaking event where you sit and listen, but it's going to be like a mini training. So you're up for a treat if you sign up. So they're gonna be for free uh, until the end of the, of the summit. And then uh, you can buy the whole package of recorded trainings at a certain price. That's really amazing yeah. and so generous of you and so generous of all of the experts um, who are coming together to create this incredible offering. So, um, okay, so we know that it's beginning February 17th. We know that um, it is going to extend into March. We don't quite know the end date yet, which means that you really need to uh, pay attention to the information that comes forward. We know that people need to sign up and register for it, right? And they can do so on your Grow and Learn. Growandlearn.org. Yeah. platform. Um, is there anything else that they need to know about joining in and, and participating on this really incredible platform? Everybody's welcome to join, whether you're uh, an HR manager, an aspiring manager, a leader, an executive. Uh, I believe that personal development in the new way of leadership way is going to be important for you this year and in the coming years. So anybody is welcome to join if you're looking for a new job as well, because oh. this, this will definitely help you. <laughs> so what you're saying then is that our participants can actually connect with each expert and, and create a relationship where it can be an ongoing experience and they can receive ongoing support. Absolutely. How fantastic. Thank you so much. And thanks for taking the time to really um, give us such a detailed um, look at what you're doing in this world, which is really fantastic. Thank you so much. And also for this wonderful opportunity for so many people of any walk of life. And of course, any 
um, interest in business, even if you haven't started a business or aren't working in a business, but have an idea about a business, come and allow yourself this opportunity to grow and to learn and to expand both as a human and um, of course in business, which is how we all interact and relate to each other on an everyday basis. So thank you so very much. And thank you also to our, um, our listeners, our audience for giving us your time and your energy. And we look forward to seeing you on the inside of this incredible conference that all you need do is turn on your computer or your phone and be a part of it all. Thank you. Marcy, thank you so much for the heartful interview. You're truly a hardship coach and I recommend people to join your webinar at least if not contact you directly. We're going to be having your contacts as well after this interview. So thank you so much. Looking My forward. My pleasure. My honor. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.